<laughs> hey, how you doing? I'm Chad. I'm Robin. We're the creators of RobinandChad.com, where we help, encourage, and inspire people yeah. as they move their business from the offline to the online world. Yeah. So we're really glad that you came to our site today. We have a quick message to share with you about the article that's below this video. Awesome article. Yeah. So tell us a little bit about it, Robin. A couple of the, the points. Uh, it, There's five. It covered, right? Yeah, it covers five, five points. points. It okay. sure does. The first one is that to know your company's policies. If you're uh -oh. with an MLM um, or even a traditional business that you're working for, make sure you know their policies. How do you get to know their policies? Yeah, you got to read them. It's probably all oh. that long, small jargon <laughs> at the very bottom of the contract that you signed that says do this and don't do this. I have a question. Yes. Because a lot of people, they see these big, long policies. I mean, come on, it's pretty tedious, right? It and, can be. Yeah. And they're like, I'm not reading that. That'll yeah. take me like an hour. It's, it's true. Most of us, I think, do do <sighs> that and we just go ahead and we sign it. But we, we need to be really you. careful that we're reading what we're signing and not right. only that, but that we know these policies because if we get involved in something else, we can lose our position with that mm. one company um, simply because we didn't know what the policy was in the first place. Right. That's a good point. So if I could recap that. so. You don't want to build a business and build a large income monthly and then put that at risk. Absolutely. So you right. want to know what the policies are because if right. you start, some companies are really, really restrictive of building online. Yeah. And if you start doing something that's against their policies, they're concerned about their bottom line as the article is going to get into more right. in depth below right. this video. So yeah. So Which actually is that. another reason why we need to just build our own brand rather than building a brand Correct. for the company we're working for, but that's a whole nother blog. So it, depend, point, it depends on the company. Yeah, really, that's right. But, okay. So, so point number two is know your upline. Know your upline. Right. Yeah. How well do you know your upline? Yeah. Cause your upline may be very, very restrictive of what it is that you're doing online. That's right. So yeah. you really want to know kind of where they're at and depending on where they're at is how you should then move forward with transitioning to online. That's right. So, and we have to remember that some people are very old school in their methods and they've been doing right. something for 21 years a certain way right. and it's it's almost fearful or just looked down upon to switch to online marketing from the old school traditional home meetings, hotel meetings, that kind of thing. So you really know, know the boundaries of your upline too so that you're not offending them in any way. But, I have a but. If you, I have a butt. <laughs> yes, you do. <laughs> You're going to make me blush. Um, if you own your own company, that's that's different. So we're specifically right. speaking to you who are in, in network marketing right. businesses, right? If you own your own business, well, you have a lot more flexibility in, yeah. in, in, in this regard. So yeah. um, more on that below. And um, what was the other thing we were going to share? Well, we just do, we we'll just share the three other points real quick. We won't okay. go into them, but... Um, if you choose to go against your company's policies, consider using an alias that you've created to separate mm. that as your brand. What's an alias? Well, instead of being Robin McDonald, I, I, I wouldn't be Ronald McDonald, but I would be Rhubarb McDuff. That would be a fun alias Rhubarb for McDuff. me to have because that was my uncle's nickname. Okay, so alias yeah. is not a TV series that was no. on TV 15 years ago. No, uh, well, it probably was, but yeah, it was actually. just pick a pseudonym, a, a different name that you can okay. go by um, where it doesn't actually, if somebody was to Google that name, it wouldn't flag you in your original company or flag you in, in a way that could disrupt. Right. So f for example, with, with Robin and I, one of the main companies that we're involved with, they, they are open to online, but it's a little bit restrictive. So you'll notice we never talk about the company. We never give the name. We never really share what we're doing. We're branding ourselves right. completely, completely separate. Yeah. So, so point number four, make sure you mm -hmm. choose your company carefully and join a cool company. Right. Join something that's fun that you're going to be passionate about and you're, you're really going to be enthralled with doing, not something that you're going to be bored with after a year of doing it and frustrated with because you don't enjoy it. Right. Um, and the last point, Chad. Is that if, if the company that you are working with is very restrictive to online methods and they just want you to focus on what's considered traditional networking, home meetings, cold market recruiting, etc. Uh, make sure that that you're not selling anything else to people in that company. Anything like affiliate marketing or online training I or coaching think I'm gonna to people in that company. On yes, that. You're so to. I actually don't think it would be appropriate whether your company is um, is okay with you online marketing or not. I don't think it's appropriate to sell your new business to people in your old business. Period. I just don't think it's appropriate. Yeah. Okay. I think that as much as we want to, because we want that commission, like you're going to read in the article, I really think that we need to just not. We need to push that off to somebody else and let them have 
have that uh, that person to sign up because it's I just find it's inappropriate and that that's my view on it but read more below yep. um, and you'll make up your own mind read more below it really depends on the company that you're working with yep. as to how restrictive or how flexible you can be so that's right so anyway thanks for stopping by make sure you check out some of the freebies on our website above the video there's some free links get our 10-day boot camp get registered and signed up for that some great content some great training and introduction material. Also, the Attraction Marketing ebook is amazing. Great book. Great book. Great book. Yes. So <laughs> definitely check that out. If you have any questions, give us a buzz. Yep. And have a beautiful day. Yeah, that's it for Enjoy. today. Enjoy. Awesome. Bye. Have a good one.